Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Renato Marcano versus Drew Dober. Now, this is an interesting fight for me personally because Renato Marcano is 17 and 5 and 1, 3 and 2 in his last five fights, minus 140 favorite, 34 years old, 5'11 with a 72 inch reach. Drew Dober, 27 and 12, 4 and 1 as well in his last five fights. The one loss is Matt Frivola, plus 120, basically a pick 'em, 35 years old. 5'8 with a 70 inch reach. Three inches in height, two inches in reach for Marcano. This fight is going to be so much fun. It really is. Yeah, this is an interesting fight to me, like I was saying, because, you know, Marcano can strike. He's, he's pretty decent at it, I would say. I don't think he's a great striker per se, but, you know, sneaky almost. Now, you look at it, strikes landing per minute at 4.75 to 4.58. For Marcano, striking accuracy is 47 to 40. Strikes absorbed per minute is 4.07 to 4.46. Defense is 60 to 51. Takedown average is 1.6 to uh, about a half, or yeah, about a half uh, every other fight. Takedown accuracy is 46 to 17. Defense is 74 to 56. 0.7 to 0.1 submissions for Renato Marcano. But I would say Dober has fought the better competition, but when he fights grapplers, it's hard. And I think Marcano is the better. I think besides Islam, he puts his strikes well. The thing that gets me nervous is the chin of Renato Marcano. We've seen it before. It's nothing new. I wish you would talk about drops, but, you know, uh, RDA, he took that fight on real short notice. Got beat up real bad. Oh, yeah. Okay. Knockdowns for one for RDA. He was knocked down in the Faceev fight, the Chancellor Jung fight. Aldo finished him. Cub Swanson uh, was knocked down by him. So, okay. So, he's only been knocked down one. One. Two, let's see. One. Two. Three. Three times? That doesn't make a lot of sense because he's been finished. One. Two, three, three times, I guess, in his career. But, all right. E e I mean, either way. He fought Brad Riddell in his last one. Able to hurt him real quick and submit him with a rear naked choke. Um, he fought Alexander Hernandez. Rear naked choke on him. I think this was in the first round. Hernandez looked decent. I think that's the case on that one. Jai Herbert, he was submitted in the second round. Faceev destroyed him. Demir Hadzovic, actually they had beef after the fight. <laughs> well, um, uh, one takedown, one submission, rear naked choke. Chancellor Jung destroyed him. Didn't land a single thing on that one. Jose Aldo, 24 of 26 for Jose. Landed two more and he finished him in the, early in the second round. Destroyed Cub. Beat Cater, which is crazy to think about but that was back in 2018 so um brian he was he was beating brian ortega lost in the third round shooting a takedown for no reason but i just think the striking is going to do enough to drew dober for drew dober to try to shoot takedowns and i want drew dober and i think there's ways that he could win because we've seen renato marcano be knocked out but we have also seen dober struggle with grapplers and i think the thing that makes marcano special in that sense is that he can strike and i think if he strikes with dober and he's at least smart he can make drew dober um uh, panic in a sense like shoot takedowns panically um i do think if they go punch for punch Dober can knock out Marcano. I don't think that's necessarily like a hot take or nothing, but you know that is a thing. Like fought Matt Frivola was finished, but like Brad Riddell, I thought he won. That was a decision. Makachev submitted him. Benio Diarius submitted him. Um, Oliver Obien Mercier submitted him. Was obviously a long time ago, but Benio and Islam, the most decorated uh, grapplers he's fought, and he was submitted late in the second and uh, early in the third so he does well you know defending wise but he's still getting taken down and dominated and all these things and they find the submission eventually so as long as marcano isn't playing with drew dober too much i could see him getting a submission or a dominant second and third round decision as always or a first and second whichever you know dober might not look great early but look good later one of those things but 
Renato Mercado will be your winner. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you are picking. And as always, peace.